Welcome back to Five Rounds. There is a ton of UFC action coming at you this weekend. The Ultimate Fighter 20 finale goes down at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas on Friday with the first ever crowning of a female 115-pound champion. Also on that card, Charles Oliveira, Jeremy Stevens, love it, and Darren Crookshank and KJ Noons probably going to deliver a fight of the night. The following night, UFC on Fox 13 from the U.S. Airways Center in Phoenix, Arizona. The main event, the heavyweights collide as JDS, the former champion, taking on Stipe Miocic. Uh, this is a huge step up in competition for Miocic, the wrestle boxer. Yeah, this is a good fight. It's exciting. You know, we just saw Travis Brown reestablish himself as a top heavyweight. One of these two guys will do that. You know, you kind of expect to see these two guys slug it out on the feet. Even though Miocic has really good wrestling, he likes to keep it on the feet and strike. He knows that's how you make money, and he seems to enjoy it. So what do we expect? Two big heavyweights to stand in there and trade punches, nice combinations from Junior Dos Santos. We get ourselves a winner by knockout or 15 minutes somebody wins. But what I'd like to see if I was a Junior Dos Santos fan, if I'm his team, if I'm the his supporters, is him go out and get a couple takedowns. Him go out and show he's got a ground game. Him go out and get some ground and pound going. Him go and try to uh, show a couple submissions because you want to see him back there at the top competing for, uh, for the heavyweight title. And if he He's going to do that. We want it. We want to, and we need to see some of these aspects of his game. And you have to imagine, though, that every day he's in the gym, he's working on all of these areas of mixed martial arts. But I think when the casual fan, they think about Junior DeSantos, they think about his stoppage wins over Mark Hunt, for uh, Verdum, which would be an awesome rematch yeah. if Cain Velasquez doesn't come back and uh, JDS manages to win this fight. Verdum versus JDS makes sense to me. Mirko Krokop, Stefan Struve, Gabriel Gonzaga, and Frank Mir. This guy finishes guys, and I think that's what the casual fan, actually all fans, yeah. like about Junior yeah, DeSantos. We love that. But if he's going to go back and fight for that title, if he's going to ever have another shot, whether it's Kane or somebody else, we got to see more than just the best striking in the heavyweight division. That's impressive. It's fun to watch, but we got to see the complete game. What is interesting about Junior DeSantos, uh, his, he's rebounded two times. He's lost three fights, of course, coming off that loss against Kane Velasquez. But his previous two losses rebounded with a TKO victory. Will, be, will he be able to do that on Saturday? Yeah, I, I think he's where the money bet is. Uh, you, you anticipate that he's going to be able to win this fight. He needs to win this fight. But uh, for, for me, the Diaz fight is the one I am the most interested in. Of course, title implications. Nathan Diaz taking on Rafael Dos Anjos, who's looked spectacular lately in his last fight, stopping Benson Henderson. Uh, I thought that was only reserved for Anthony Pettis, but the, the Brazilian showcasing his, uh, his ability to finish in all areas. But Nathan Diaz, you just never know what to expect. He is a true martial artist. Yeah, can Diaz rise to that occasion? And this is as tough a fight as he's ever had. Certainly, he's had a lot of time off, but I think we'll see a little different Diaz. His aggression is always a key. The, uh, his willingness to play games with you, try to get inside your head, and his outstanding boxing skills. This is an exciting fight. This is a fight that matters. And of course, another fight that matters, Alistair Overeem on the bubble right now, losing uh, three of his last four fights. In my opinion, he's in a must-win situation. You know he's not getting he's getting paid quite a bit of money. Stefan Struve, can he stop him? Uh, I think he's bet on him to stop Struve. Next week, we are taking a look at the fight night, Machida versus Dalloway. On behalf of Robin Black and our entire Fight Network crew, I'm John Ramdean saying so long. We'll see you next time on Five Rounds. <laughs>